Hey, 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 happy day. Sharon horn Alstom here. Sharon horn Alstom is actually the she in what she up to now. This is actually just the ongoing dialogue that I have mostly with myself about what I'm doing as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business and how I am becoming who I want to be online. And, you know, it's all about becoming who we want to be. Now, I am, I just did a review of the first 10 days, today's day 11, of the blood pressure challenge, the lifestyle health challenge that I'm doing for 90 days between now and the end of the year. Because I need to get my blood pressure down, and if I'm doing something, I might as well do it with other people. Because number one, it gives me support. Number two, it lets me practice my skill. Number three, I love challenges, and I love teaching people how they can use a challenge by challenging themselves to get whatever it is they want, anything you want. You can actually achieve in days, not years. People will have you think that, oh, it takes decades for you to do this when, you know, it takes it takes years and years to get over something. It takes years and years to make a decision. No, it doesn't. It takes an instant to make a decision. It takes a moment to let, or maybe some minutes or some exercises or some time to get over things, but it doesn't take decades. It doesn't take 20 years of therapy. Well, some, it might take you 20 years of therapy, but it's never taken me 20 years of therapy. Uh, there's a lot of tools in our toolbox and a lot of strategies and things that we can do to say, yeah, I've been dealing with this. Oh my God, I've been letting this silly belief impact me for decades. And there are, I still got some of those. We all have them. We just don't see them until we're ready to let them go and see them. This is really on a tangent. Anyway, today, day 618, I am beginning to get ready for my traveling that I'm going to be doing. So I'm creating content. I just did my first happy every day for the, the weeks that I'm going to be on the cruise. On the cruise, there's not going to be any internet. So I'm thinking I will take my stuff and I will do my regular production throughout the rest of my travels. But when I don't have access to the internet, I don't want to trust that I'm going to be able to get it done. But I do want to be consistent because I do what I say I'm going to do. I say I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to do it every day. So how am I going to produce this segment every day? What I might have to do with that and what I might choose to do with that, instead of pre-recording it, you just might not see me for a week. And I will do it while I'm on the ship. I'll just record it. And then when I get back, I will, I'll just upload and dump them all. I think that feels better to me. It feels more um, in line with who I am. I'm perfectly all right with pre-recording the happy every day. I'm all right with pre-recording the supersize your business, the piece I do on, on the different definitions of idioms and things. Because those are not day-specific journal, what am I doing about my journey. This, on the other hand, is, hey, what am I doing on my journey? So I would think it'd be more fun and more educational and more valuable for me to actually record every day on my phone, you know, not live, but record on my phone, save those videos, and then when I get back, share those videos. I would love if someone would comment below if that's how they would rather see me handle this particular segment, or if you don't care at all. If I don't get any comments, I'm gonna do what I want. So I will probably not pre-record them and have them loaded because how do I talk about what I'm doing every day when it's not the day? It doesn't make sense to me. So I think I just made up my own mind and never mind, you don't have to comment. <laughs> That's what I'll do while I'm on the ship. Maybe while I'm up exercising every day, because I guarantee I will be up on that ship exercising every morning before we have our morning sessions, because I got to keep moving. I'm, I, I don't know if I've shared much, but physically I have lots of inflammation and lots of physical challenges. And if I don't keep moving every day, I am totally toast. So if I'm going to sit in meetings for the morning, I have to make sure that I have gotten up and moved before that morning. And maybe I'll just walk around the ship. It's a big boat. I could take a couple of couple of rotations around the ship on a couple different decks, and that would probably be enough exercise. But sometimes I like to go and use the different equipment they have. I don't I don't have my equipment at home with me right now, so I think that would be kind of fun and exciting to go use the ellipticals. I hate ellipticals. They're super hard on me, but it probably means I need to do it. I'd like to do some weights. I don't have access to weights, but I know that weights are what I need to really change my body the way I want it to be so as much as I'm resisting the weight thing I'm probably gonna have to join a club maybe I'll join a club this winter and actually go and get some training and help on weights because that's the secret that we women never hit, hit on men can lose weight and can fix their bodies and change their bodies so much faster than us and the key is because they do weight work they do work with weights and I'm not talking bodybuilding bulking up weights I'm talking small weights they know what to do and they do it Maybe I'll research that after, as part of this 90 day challenge because losing weight helps your blood pressure. I don't know. Just thought of that. Like I don't have enough to do. <sighs> yeah.
heavy sigh. Enjoying my morning cup of coffee, trying to figure out how am I gonna get these segments produced. And like I said, I already did one for Happy Every Day. I was thinking I would just do an extra one every day, but I might knock a couple out this weekend because it's easier for me to knock them out this weekend than it is on the weekdays when I'm hanging out with my granddaughter. So I think I might do that instead. But I am gonna do as many of them as I can live because I like doing them live. I like, I, I can't believe I said that out loud, but I actually like doing live video now. I actually like it. It's fun. And it's, it feels a lot better to me because I get to be who I am right now in the moment. And you know, love me, hate me, there's nothing in the middle. I don't, it doesn't really matter because there's always going to be people that like me. There's always going to be people that hate me. There's always going to be people that criticize, mostly my family. <laughs> and that's okay. It doesn't matter. So working on that, getting that ready, starting to plan because it's a lot of weeks. We're talking probably four weeks of travel. And for me, I don't have time in between the different trips to pack and repack and do laundry and do things like that. So I'm going to have to figure out starting this weekend, what do I need to take for each trip and then start getting this stuff all organized and set aside and ready to go so that it's packed and ready to go. And one of the first legs of the trip is driving down to Fredericksburg, Texas with my sister and my mom. And my mom is kind of like me. She's a pack rat and she has three homes, but she has to take stuff back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to every home because that's that's her identity. She thinks she needs to. So she got a new vehicle, but I guarantee I'll be lucky if there's room for my one suitcase in that vehicle. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but I'm super excited to go. I get to meet my great niece who I've never meet, met. I've met one of them, but she's got a little sister who's going to be two this week and I have never met her. So I'm excited to go down and meet her and just spend some time. I haven't been down to Texas geez, for a couple of years now uh, to visit my mom because I've had so much stuff going on in my own life that I just haven't had an opportunity to get down there and see her and never get to spend enough time with my mom. So I like that I am taking the opportunity to do this. Anything I can help you with, hit me up in the comments below. Any questions that you have, hit me up either in direct message or in the comments below. Um, I'm here to help you in any way that I can. If you're a woman business owner and you're struggling with knowing what's my next thing, what do I need to do to do whatever it is that you want, I know that seems like a really broad statement, but it's so true. Been there, done that with just about anything you can imagine, both in corporate America and in my own businesses. Been involved in, I think I counted up 27 different businesses and industries that I have uh, played a major ownership role or a high level corporate executive um, role in. And so I've seen a lot, done a lot experienced a lot of stuff that's worked really well and also some mistakes that I want to steer you clear of so that you don't make them as well. And if I can help you anyway, just hit me up. I had a great conversation with a, a young man from the UK the other day and we were talking about specifically click funnels and funnels and the one funnel away challenge because I've done that three times and I, I love that and I love click funnels and if you haven't caught that so far, I'm definitely a click funnels fan. It's a, a software for helping us create an online presence that is quick and easy to use, even with somebody who's like me, visually challenged. And by visually challenged, I mean blind. <laughs> so if you're, if you're thinking that you're struggling with something, if you're thinking that you're struggling with something in your personal life, if you think you're struggling with something physical, like, like physical chronic pain, I've, I've, I've had that up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest and dropping dead. So I don't know, I might be able to help you or I would be more than happy to connect you with somebody that can for sure help you with whatever it is that you want to do. I, I love being a connector. It's almost as exciting for me hooking people up with other people that can help them than if I can help you myself because time is limited and I understand clearly that in this day and age, time is my most valuable resource. I don't know if it's to you, but the, the thing I am the most careful with and the most, um, not selfish, but just cognizant of is my time and how I'm spending it and who I'm spending it with. So if I can't help you and somebody else can help you better, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna want, you're not gonna wanna work with me and I'm not gonna wanna work with you because we want the best fit for everybody. So I'm gonna go get to work. I'm gonna go start packing some stuff up, organizing some stuff, making some content for while I'm away. And yeah, I guess I decided that I'm not gonna do this piece until I get back. So I will do it while I'm gone, but you won't see it until I get back. So there might be like, seven videos to watch for me about what you have to do now. And they might be actually fun videos because they'll be on a ship and they'll be on they'll be on islands in the Caribbean. How fun is that? I'm like getting really excited. I haven't been on a cruise for nine years, so I'm I'm very excited to go on another cruise. I love cruises. I think they're very, very fun. 
All right, have an amazing day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up below. Otherwise, I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.